What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I've got something exciting that I'm definitely excited to bring to you. This is a charge tech. It will basically power pretty much anything you throw at it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, it'll power up a like a MacBook or a laptop or something. It'll power up a lot of different things. Uh, and the outside packaging says special edition. I'm going to show you the Amazon listing real quick. So you can go ahead and pause this and read it if you'd like to. But essentially, there's two different versions. One of them does uh, 65 watts up to. So and then it's got... 12,000, 18,000, and 24,000 options. If you go with the big dog, the limited edition, you can do up to 85 watts, and it's it's significantly bigger. So that's something to consider. There's two different versions here. Wow, they do cost, you know, <laughs> it is a difference in cost, of course. So let's go ahead and open up the one that we currently have. All right, so let's start by getting our handy-dandy knife here. And opening the box, this arrived today, and I was, like, I pulled it out of the box. So normally when I do unboxings, I unbox the actual box that came in. Uh, it wasn't sure what was in it, and I didn't want to open a video, or start a video out. Uh, once again, completely clueless on what was in the box. And so here we go. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Let's cut right here. Right here. And is there anything else? Yes. Uh, let's maybe that one can be left alone for now. Let's see. I don't know how this opens. I'm not quite sure what to expect here. All right, so maybe I do need to go ahead and cut that one as well. All right, so now we've got it. <laughs> let's open this thing up somehow, some way. Uh, right, he no, right, <laughs> oh, oh, nope, that's, that's not it, that's it, that's it right here, we got more tape to cut, oh, <laughs> okay, so here we go, boom, look at that, check this, this thing is massive, massive special edition it's got a power button there so it's got one little light we will need to go ahead and charge that up you have got your power port here so you can plug in your laptop or uh you know i've had situations where uh maybe there's no power outlet around but you want to power a box fan to get some air uh this thing should power that up with no problems at all uh, and it said that it could charge up to like 2.4 amps at full speed for two devices. So that's pretty freaking awesome. We can go ahead and turn on that switch and then turn it off. We are gonna go ahead and need to charge this sucker up and then we will be back. Let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in here before we do that. You've got this owner's manual here and then you've got a power cord here. And then, uh, so it's like a laptop charger, essentially, to charge this sucker up. And then we've got a few more things in here, tucked away. We're going to get these out. All right, so there's a cleaning cloth or carrying cable. And then there's something else right here. Okay, so we've... Oh, it's a universal... Okay, okay. So if you live in a different country that uses a different type of plug, you are good to go. That is an itty-bitty little thing. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, man. There was a little hidden green light on it that I didn't see until I just plugged it in. That's cool. So it'll actually tell you if it's getting power from the wall or not. All right, so this is definitely a carrying case for it if you want to keep it nice and protected. And then here's the charging thing. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And there we go. It's flashing, letting us know that it is currently charging. Let's go ahead and definitely charge this thing up and play with it some more once it's done charging. All right, so quick little impression here. I've noticed that when I flip this switch, uh, it doesn't light up. And if I hold this down, it doesn't change. 
So that leaves me to believe that that outlet does not work while this is plugged in. Not a big deal. Just a heads up in case you're curious about that. If I unplug it and then slide it over, I need to press that button and there we go. It turns on. But if I plug this in, yep, cuts power to it completely. Just so you know, because someone's going to ask that question. Let's go ahead and let it charge up and we'll be back. What's going on, guys? Here we are about three days later, and I've had some time to charge it, kill it, charge it again, kill it again, and charge it again. So now we're on that charge that's full. This is a full charge. Uh, also, uh, after playing with it, I have found that on the back here, it also gives you some information about how much it can handle, like it says in the booklet, and then the rating, which is 27,000, so 85 watts max. Now, I've been trying to play with some things and see what this can and cannot do. Obviously, you'll have to look at the power specifications and make sure you're not exceeding 85 watts. Uh, don't, don't do that. So, obviously, it's not going to run something like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. Maybe one day when those devices use less than 85 watts, if they ever can in the future, then you know, this might be able to power it. Or if ChargeTech makes something that's capable of, you know, 150 to 200 watts. But this one here currently is 85, so that's quite a bit, so we're going to definitely see what we can and cannot do. Uh, one thing I noticed is if I plug in a phone, so let's plug in the Note, you're going to see that it lights up after I turn the unit on. Let's turn it on, and then plug in a USB cable. It's blue. I thought that was a really cool touch. So let's go ahead and charge up our Note. Now I don't know if what... It's causing this, or if I can get it to show up on video, but you're going to see here in a second. So there's one phone. It's charging, and it's charging at 2.4 amps. So let's go ahead and try plugging in the Nexus 6P. This is the issue we're having. I'm going to plug this phone in and see if I can get it to show up because it's been a couple days since it happened. Yep, it shuts off completely. This stops charging, this doesn't charge. So let's turn it on. So it's charging. Oh, that one charged for like half a second, and then it cuts off. All right, as I turn it on, you're going to see that it charges and turns off. Now, maybe the Nexus 5X, that was the 6P, maybe the Nexus 5X will be something different. Okay. This one is currently charging, and so is this one. So it's definitely the 6P. Maybe it's drawing more than this thing can handle. Now, let's, let's, I, I'm not ending there. I'm not ending there. Let's try the brick here and see if I can get it to charge with that. Let's turn the AC switch on. And let's see if, let, and let's go ahead and unplug this one because we're not, it's not plugged in. Let's go ahead and plug in our phone here. Now, Will it charge? That works fine. That works fine. I can have this phone charging. Now, let's push it a little bit further. We knew we could have the Note 5, and this is stuff I haven't tested yet. I'm testing this now on video. We knew we could have the Note 5 and the Nexus 5X plugged in, but we couldn't have the 6P for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and try the, 6, the 5X plugged in again with this charging off of AC. And remember... It is charging at the top right there. You can see it. It's kind of blurry if it'll focus ever. There you go. It's charging. So let's go ahead and plug this one in and see if we uh, crash this thing. Yep, we crashed it. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what's causing it, but obviously the average person is not going to be trying to charge all three of these phones at the same time. It makes sense to only pick one or two of them and wait for them to fully charge. That can work just fine, or this right here, the 5X and the uh, Note 5 can work. Well, maybe they switch, turn the AC switch off first, and then try that again. No, that's, I don't understand. Maybe it just can't charge two phones at the same time reliably. I don't know. I don't know if this is something that's just wrong with this one, or if you just can't do it, we're not sure of that yet. 
What I do know is that I've got my little laptop here, my little my little Chromebook, and we're going to plug it in. Please note that on the power brick, it's going to tell you what it's pulling. This is pulling 65 watts at the most. It doesn't mean it's going to do it all the time, but when you're using a laptop and charging it at the same time, you're definitely going to be pulling 65 watts. So if we'd have gotten a smaller one, this would be basically maxing it out, which isn't a good idea, I don't assume, maxing it out the whole time you're using it. You're either going to drain it really quickly or you're going to wear it down faster. It's, you know, you want to get something higher than what you're actually pulling. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Now, I've been letting this Chromebook run without the power plugged in. So we are looking at about an 85, 90% battery. Okay, actually, it's a 76% battery. All right. I'm trying to get this all on video. <laughs> so we're going to plug this into the side here on the left. And then we're going to plug this in. And we're going to go ahead and hold this button down. And it's going to turn this thing on. I got to turn the AC switch on. Let's hold this down. Turns on. And boom. Now we are charging. It's got the little charge indicator right here. And we are slowly charging up. I did almost have this thing dead. And it charged it. It charged it. This is beautiful. If my Chromebook's dead and I'm nowhere near a power outlet, this thing is going to bring it back to life. It's going to charge it up. And that's awesome. And say I am without internet completely, and I want to tether my phone to my computer for internet. I can go ahead and plug in this other one here to the USB port. It's gonna light up, and my phone says it's charging. There you go. So if I can get that in the video, this is charging, and that's charging. So we can do both of those at the same time. Remember, this is charging and powering this laptop. So it's pulling up to 65 watts. And this is charging as well. So it's getting the leftover of that. Obviously, there's enough because it is charging this thing and it will charge this up. I had both of these charging my laptop and my phone overnight. And I woke up. And of course, my laptop was down to like 80% because at some point it had charged it, drained this, and went back to battery on this one. So this is a really cool unit. And again, you're somewhere with no internet at all. You need to tether your phone to your laptop, but you need both of these to be charged. This thing right here can do it. This is awesome, and I see a ton of uses for this. Obviously, you could take a power brick, like a six-way or something, and get more things charging off of this, but that's definitely still going to take away from your, your 85 watts that you have total. So without making this video too long, I, I want to show you something that I find pretty interesting. When I plug this fan into a power outlet, it makes a different sound than when it's plugged into this thing. So let's go ahead and unplug the laptop and plug in this. I don't know if it's the fact that this is an AC fan plugged into this, like the motor is AC, but it makes like a little whirling sound or something. That right there. Though, well, let's get the blades to stop spinning. That right there, see I'm slowing the blades down? If I plug it into AC, that sound's not there. Nothing wrong with this, I just thought it was interesting. And now on high, this thing is blowing quite a bit of air and this thing's powering it just fine. It'd be really cool to see how much it was pulling. Like if there's a little LED readout that said, hey, you're pulling 20 watts. So that meant, okay, I've got about, you know, 65 to spare. So if you have portable audio equipment that requires some power, if you've got a drone that you're trying to charge up, this thing can charge it. If you've got, you know, d almost damn near anything you want to charge or do, this thing will do it. Just make sure that if you get this one, you don't exceed 85 watts. And if you get the smaller one, you don't exceed 65 watts. Every Most things have its own way of telling you how much power it draws. Now, on my daughter's little Dell Chromebook, it also calls for the same thing that my laptop does. And it's a little hard to spot it at first, but it's up here. 65 watts. This is a little Dell Chromebook. Another thing I can think of real quick off the top of my head is if your internet's out, you could use this to power your modem and your Wi-Fi. If, of course, you have 
a battery operated device such as a laptop or something to use that Wi-Fi. And of course, if your carrier or your company like Comcast, Charter, Google Fiber, whatever, isn't out as well. Tons of uses for this. Definitely something to have in an emergency. On road trips, I can bring this with me and charge up my laptop and I can bring it with my laptop. It's small. I'm not gonna make this video much longer. Obviously, hopefully I've educated you enough as far as what this can and cannot do. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could support this video by giving it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. Links to this product will be in the description below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not done so already. More videos will come when I have things to make videos on. I do have a couple videos planned that I haven't done yet. If there's a video you would like to see, let me know. If a lot of people want to see it, I'll try my best to make it happen. Hopefully I can get some more really cool stuff like this on my way to me. Regarding new devices, that's not the easiest thing for me to go out and purchase right now. So <laughs> please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you're not doing so already, this is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.